Hi, I'm Cheryl Coons from the Kinderville Public Library and I wanted to show you how to do some simple quilting from home. This is the quilt I've been working on for my grandson who likes to play hockey. I bought a panel, you can see that in the middle here, and when I started quilting I had pinned all three layers together first after laying it out on the floor. So I had to think about what I wanted to do in each section. And in the beginning part where the boys are playing, I decided to trace around the shapes. And that's where I did my stitching. After I stitched around each player, then I also stitched some star shapes in the spaces just to fill it in. Simple star shape just like that up, down, across, and finish. When I got to the side panels, I just decided to do a curvy um, stitch that kind of went around the players, and I made it very simple and stopped. The next areas to quilt were these, this word panel and the chevrons. And around the words, I just stitched a simple rectangle, and then I stitched around this black edging. When I got to the chevrons, I did what's called stitching in the ditch. And that is where you stitch right between the two colors, and it the stitching falls down right next to the fold and it makes each color puff up when you do that. For the star quilting I used a blue marking pencil and I made a template out of simple cardboard. I planned my design that the stars would fit and I traced around each one and then flipped the next one and traced around it and flipped the next one and so on so that they fit evenly across the panel. I found this material called grunge fabric that was gray and cream colored and it has these marks in it that reminds me of the marks on the ice when the players have been out there for a while skating. I decided to use blue thread and again I stitched in the ditch all along here and I also used blue thread on the stars that we talked about earlier. Just as a reminder, when you're quilting, you always start at the beginning, middle of the quilt, and work your way out. And now I'm ready for this blue border um, that is near the edge. And I decided just to do a simple zigzag, and all I have to do is mark um, the points at the regular intervals. So I will show you how I'm going to stitch that. I marked my spots that I'm going to stop at and then I'm going to go over to this spot. And so I have this one marked in the very middle of the gray triangle. Remember when you quilt that you want to hold your hands and hold the material as flat as you can. There's already been a stitch along here that it supports the fabric, so I just want to make sure it's flat as I quilt. Remove your pin and keep stitching. Now I'm at my mark and I'm ready to turn my fabric. Remember, I'm using a walking foot on my machine, and you can see that it hops along as I go. I've turned my fabric, so I'm ready to bring my line right through here to this point. I'll remove the pin to get it out of the way. and you can see how it looks. Now that I'm almost done with the blue panel on the outside border, I only have the black area to stitch on, 
and then I'll be ready to turn the backing and stitch and it becomes the binding and then the quilt will be finished. If you're thinking about making a quilt that's throw size or smaller, it's pretty easy to do it on your domestic machine at home. I hope you've enjoyed my demonstration. Thank you.